Hello and welcome to episode 22 of our Let's Roleplay Crusader Kings 2 as the Sa'ad Dynasty. I think this one's going to be kind of an important episode in our, well, I suppose, family's history. Basically our campaign to take the Burgundy lands kind of, well firstly it failed. We took Provence but then we got defeated by a a bunch of countries, Christian countries, cooperating together, but any further moves in that direction have been halted due to, well, two wars. The West Francians are doing a holy war for Porto, I don't know how you say that, this area of the world, which we do not want them to get because, well, first it's our liege's land, and I don't think we're actually particularly loyal, but we really just don't want the French having a border with us in um, Aquitaine, but what well, this is happening, the Catholics have declared the Second Crusade, and this one's for Aquitaine, which is quite a large kingdom in southern France, and includes two emirates that we hold, and also a few bits of land as well, because Carcosne's in there. We'd hold a province afterwards, but that's um, not that useful for us. Oh, I should mention we are Sultan Khalil the Great, the King of Aragon and Galicia, also, as you saw, we are also the designated regent. So, if something were to happen to Badshah Fadl, our the Umayyad liege lord, uh, we would be in charge, at least until his heir comes of age. Who's 16, so that's not going to happen. But anyway, we're going to be actively fighting in these two wars against the Christians. Um, just because, as I said, we don't want them to win. We want to hold these lands for the Umayyads, at least now. Great Holy War for Georgia. The High Priest Tamak of the Tengri Faith has decided this time to teach Basilius Constantinus the Seventh of the Byzantine Empire and the believers in the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. All three free Tengri men are invited to partake in the scourging of the Kingdom of Georgia. It's no concern of ours, it's happening on the other side of Europe. Between two religions that we aren't a part of. Uh, so, 6,000 Frenchmen up there, another 4,000 nearby. The Umayyad armies, I believe, are not really around. They've got maybe four or 5,000 soldiers they can call on because the rest of their army was off fighting the Byzantines, but it looks like we've just lost that war, so hopefully we could see some more Umayyad soldiers soon. The Vikings in Vizcaya? We'll just ignore them for now. 7,000... Oh. Got all these soldiers ready on boats, but just forgot about them. Down to the boats, and they can meet up in Navarre. Um, so I've got enough troops I could go off and defeat one of these French armies, but probably the second I do, they'll all combine and annihilate me. So I might try and just knock back these crusading armies in the south here. 10,626. When did I get that many soldiers? Um, oh. If I advance on Bordeaux here, I might be able to draw this army into an attack across the river. And those two probably won't be able to arrive in time. Yeah, let's try this. It's a bit riskier than what I just planned, but it might work. Just depends on whether those 6,000 can head south fast enough to catch us. Well, it doesn't look like the French are going to come at all. That would be ideal, really. We could just defeat these 119 soldiers. Nice, easy victory. And we'll head into Toulouse now. It looks like the French are massing here. Oh! And actually, it does look like they want to come over and fight me. Nope, not anymore. Yes, the French are going to mass their army, which is bad for me. But the Crusades the more important war, to be honest. Knights Hospitalier and the Knights of Santiago are marching in. And who are these? The Papacy is down behind us. Let's just march through here and try and knock out these armies before they can combine. Oh! And Sultan Khalil the Great has just died. He died a natural death, which is actually surprising. And we're now Sultan Jibril. Prince of Aragon, Sultan of Galicia and Aragon, 21 years old. 
And what kind of guy is he? Uh, carousing focus. It's alright. He wants to kill Prince Khalil of the Sa'adid Sultanate. I'm guessing that's one of his brothers. Uh, we'll just... There he is. The Wali of Chancellada. Okay, well, whatever. He's got the son. He's an underhanded rogue. He's decadent, which is very bad. Uh, proud. Kind of alright. Patient. Gregarious. Envious. Okay, he's actually really good at diplomacy. Uh, so the first thing we should probably do um, is look at our vessels and see who doesn't like us. The Amir of Galicia hates us. Why do you hate us? Takfir, yeah, that would do it. Amir of Aquitaine also doesn't really like us. The Amir of Barcelona, and we need him. He provides a lot of troops. Okay, so we might send our Chancellor to here. And actually, let's go give these guys some titles. Honor honorary titles, that is. You can be the designated regent. Um, they're not court vessels. Navarra, Valencia, Gascony. I don't think the Gascons can actually provide me with many troops. Navarra probably can. So I'll give you an honorary title as well of... Um, not food taster. Cupbearer? That will do. I'm not going to give every anything to Galicia because that's not going to help. Aquitaine. Yeah, you'd give me a few troops. I could invite you to carousing. Let's just give you titles for now. Chief Architect. Uh, Portugal can be... Court Poet. Valencia would actually be another important one. Court Musician, and who can be the Calligrapher? That oh, might be Gascony. So hopefully that will give me a few more troops in the end. But then, uh, it doesn't really look like they're going to give me much of all. 1100 from Valencia would be the max. Oh, 1300 from Barcelona, that's good. Over time, the number of troops they'll give me will increase, but for now, our army's actually going to be pretty weak. Or at least if this one dies, which I hope it won't. And it looks like the Crusaders might be massing. Well, not massing, they have massed. Where are all these soldiers going? Oh, they're fighting the Umayyad down the capital. Well, that sucks. Um, let's just sit here and see if those troops don't leave, and then we can just pounce on these guys once they've gone. Those rebels. Aquitanian Liberation Revolt. Okay, we don't want that, but hopefully they'll fight the Crusaders as well as us. Or these 6,000 Frenchmen. Kill the French. No one accepted my invitation to carousing. One person makes no feasts, so I'll have to postpone it for later. Ah, uh, people are so boring. Don't even come to my feast. Okay, apparently the French don't fight the rebels. Which sucks. Oh, no, there they go. That's good, my enemies kill each other. And we won a battle. Gained us 20 prestige. Didn't affect the war score at all, though. Oh, but I captured an earl. Earl of Tudhumhain. Cool, sounds like a very important place. My half-brothers become decadent. That's the guy I'm trying to kill. Um, and apparently no one would want to join me in this plot to kill a decadent person. I don't have the piety to convince him to straighten up. Let's see if we can't catch the Knight Hos Knight's Hospitalier here. I can press claim on decks. And... Well, it looks like the French will defeat those rebels, but the rebels are inflicting a lot of casualties. 
are the Ormites doing down here? Not great. In fact, I don't see any Umwaid armies at all. And they're losing badly to France. So it might just have to be a case of we have to give up on um, holding those northern lands and just stick to defeating the Crusaders, for now at least. Are any of these troops going to Narbonne? It doesn't look like it. I just think I might march south and hit these guys. They're all on the move. They're all going to Perigord, chasing the rebels. Uh, let's see if we can't get over here and fight the Pope. Seven hundred all my troops aren't going to do much of anything, but my guys really can't do much. There's just too many troops here in too many places, and some of them are quite large. So I can't really split my army up to start fighting multiple battles at the same time. I'm just going to have to kind of wear these guys down. And as I said, I can't really afford to take too many casualties because my vessels won't give me very many soldiers if I were to call them out again. here. No, we're gonna lose. Oh, your experience in matters of war has increased and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will we focus on? Rough terrain would be good. Heavy infantry. Cavalry. I think cavalry just because our special troops are the camel cavalry. In chaos of battle we've managed to corner Mir Constante and kill him. The Mir of Grosetto. So we lost this battle. That's unfortunate, but we killed a lot of Crusaders while doing so. And the war scores started ticking in my favour. I'm just going to pull my troops back to um, regain their morale. And also a few more Camel Cavalry. I might also see if I can't call out a few more troops here. Provence. And 300. Um, can we put them on boats? Yes, we can. I might as well send these boats here away because they'll just be costing me money. Could hire mercenaries. Um, I couldn't really afford any. Well, actually I can't hire mercenaries, I don't have enough money. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to afford them for very long. Okay, lots of crusaders in the south here. Only 7,000 or so Frenchmen left, but I've only got 7,000 troops myself. Let's just see if we can't draw some of these crusaders into a oh, great holy war for Georgia. Are uh, the Tingri lost? How's our technology doing over here? Uh, nothing new, but we're getting alright. A fair few military points. Oh. Macau of the Aquitanian Liberation Revolt. There's declared another revolt, which the, Catholic, um, the Crusaders are now having to fight, or the Catholics are having to fight them. So that's really good, especially if they march down that way towards them. Oh, my wife Shakira is pregnant. That's very nice. So hopefully those rebels will now go and kill a bunch of Crusaders for me. Nobles distinguish himself a bash and it's blah blah blah. Distinguish himself in battle. A guy can name to Yusuf is now at my court. Um I don't really want the rebels to win here. Twelve hundred in Ancona. 
Still hoping they'll draw the Crusaders into a big battle here and cause a lot of casualties and more importantly prevent them from capturing their territory because they are ticking war scores starting to move quite quickly in our favour. Rebels lost that battle, looks like they're about to lose a battle against France here. Might march into Toulouse. Oh, no, I'll try and trace down this French army. I don't think I'll catch them in time. And they've got people here to help. But they're going the opposite direction, so hopefully we can win this battle. It's not looking good, they've got a pretty significant advantage from the hills. Already went on that flank. I just don't think my army was that well balanced. And maybe theirs just wasn't, because they've got 1700 there and only 1400 on... Well, 1300 on the other two flanks. But regardless, they managed to break through. Don't have much infantry, really. So, well, another battle we lost. Ooh, we're going to lose this one as well. Sand again, but we'll try and load them onto some boats this time. Just to help them escape. Just getting some of these soldiers out of here alive would be very good. Nope, yep, wasn't quick enough. Here we go. Uh, I don't care. It's Chief Cardi thing. I suggest that Sultan Jabril would be Bacha Fadi's new Chief Cardi and waited with bated breath as Bada Bacha Fadl pondered this. But Bacha Fadl rejected that suggestion. So I suggested that I would be it, or that guy suggested that I'd do the job. Okay. So now suddenly we've got time. One day. New son called Idris. Okay, well, we've got 375 soldiers out, which is better than nothing, but far from good. So I'll send all my troops home, and I can now have an army 900 strong. Oh, and Briefly, there was an event I could do. Go on a Hajj to Mecca. Oh, whatever. It'll give us something to do while our armies are recovering. Or like equal in front of God. Uh, bring someone with us? Yes, of course. We are Gregarious and a Carouser. Oh, I hope this doesn't affect our carousing trait. I am now fully prepared for my travel to Mecca. There will be a regent ruling Sa'adid Sultanate while I am away. Onwards to Mecca. Our regent is Aram. Who is our Grand Vizier. You take passage on a ship, but the crew is soon exposed as less than honourable. The captain is over here discussing how he and his men will sell the pilgrims he is carrying, including you, into slavery at the next port. Um, patient, gregarious, envious, proud. This will not come. This will not come to pass to arms. Together with the other pilgrims, you turn against the crew and a fierce struggle ensues. The battle ends when you run your blade through the treacherous captain's gut and the rest of the crew surrenders. The ship is under your command. Set sail for Mecca. I just imagine a proud sultan would not sneak away when you get near to port. It's hard being a good sonny these days, but my friend truly shocked me when I realised we did not share the same religion. My dear friend is a heretic. Uh, we are envious, uh, not envious, 
Imperious. We're also envious. Uh, so to be good friends, I should probably learn more about this religion. The camel one of your companions is riding on collapses on the sand with a grunt, never to rise again. You could take turns with your companion to ride on your camel, but that would slow you down and the unforgiving sun would have to be endured a while longer. Uh, I'm kind of simply going, we're proud and we're envious, so we don't seem like the person who would kind of share our camel. But at the same time, we're patient. Uh, uh, I'm going to say terrible luck, friend. See you in Mecca. As you stop for camp one evening, you notice that an old man in poor clothing has made camp at the same place. The man offers to tell you a hadith if you spare him some bread. I will listen to him, we like talking to people. The old man says, as related by al Tumidi, I see it, O Prophet of Allah. We will be held accountable for what we say. He said, May your mother be bereft of you. Is there anything that topples people on their faces into the hellfire other than the jests of their tongues? Uh, okay. Alhamdulillah. I actually have no idea what that means. Will we be held accountable for what we say? And the answer is yes, you will be. Cool, so we gain one diplomacy. While performing wudu before the night's prayers, a fellow pilgrim points out an impurity in the water. Cleanliness is half of faith. That's good. As you arrive in Mecca, you start preparing for the evening's prayer when you discover that the water in the well is not entirely pure. This would not be a valid water to use for ablution. So you will inform others nearby. You are now at the Kaaba itself and performing the tawaf. Seven circuits you will walk around the black stone and each time you complete a circuit you point to the stone and say In the name of Allah, Allah's great, Allah's great, Allah's great and praise be to Allah. We all shout at every circuit. Oh, we've gained our ambitious trait. Performing the Sa'i involves running seven times between the hills of Safa and Mawa. This is done to remember the search for water by Ishmael's mother. I feel invigorated. Hmm. I'll just... Oh, the mate's about to lose this battle. And my 288 soldiers aren't going to make any difference. Uh, yeah, this guy can be my new marshal. Um, yeah, but we make this guy the marshal since he's much better. Spymaster, he's the best we can do. And the steward, this guy would actually be better. You can collect taxes here and you can train the troops there. You can study technology. Let's send you to Baghdad for a change. And we probably do have... Christian lands up here, so let's send this guy to Armanac. Oh no, that was the wrong place. And now I can't move him. Oh well. So I'm not being able to get 1500 soldiers, which is an improvement, but still not going to be anywhere near enough. A group of bandits have forced our party to make a stand. We are outnumbered, but with the joy in our hearts from our pilgrimage we have a chance to defeat them. Uh, we are proud. These infidels will shatter. Hmm, apparently they did. And we're not wounded, so that's good. I have returned to my court a changed man. I am truly humbled before Allah. I know that all men are equal and can live in harmony with each other. We say that, but the one thing that's really changed is we've become more ambitious. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Lost the siege of Bordeaux. And that's really hurts the war score here. But nothing much I can do about it, because all my aids just aren't helping. I get 1,600 soldiers, plus mercenaries if I wanted. But there are currently 7,800 enemy troops on my lands. Send those boats home, they're not doing any good here. Uh, so who gets me the most soldiers? The Emirate of Glacier at the moment, and the Mosque of Barbastro is up there. Doesn't hate me so much now, but he still hates me a lot. Mm. 
Okay, I think I'm just going to have to rely on the Umides to win this war for me, and I really don't want to lose this crusade. But I've basically given up on being able to defeat the French. Oh, they've only got three and a half thousand soldiers in this area. So you think there's a decent chance that we could win that if we can get our troops for all past with these crusaders. And look at all the people fighting against us. But the only kingdom there is the King of Italy. Lots of dukes though. Grand Master Gandalf the Wise of the Knights of Calatrava. Okay. He's Castilian. I did not... Oh. Not to kill a travel, but I didn't actually think there were that many Castilian people around here. Oh, that's right, there was a little kingdom here he'd be from. Um, the King of Asturias existed for a while. Which you see most of Spain's Andalusian because they are the uh, old Muslim Spanish. Okay, the Umayyads have a decent army coming. So I might as well get. So, oh. Will those guys get out of there in time? One of them will. I'll get these guys, hopefully they can all make it to Provence. You guys can all just head down to there. You guys can go to Alborasin. You two might just go to Navarra for now, I suppose. some boats for these ones. Maybe a few more boats than that. And I can raise another 14 troops. May as well. Appears. So we'll not meet up in Navarra, but let's just went out straight over to Alborasen. Uh, the Umay troops are in Saragusta. And they're marching towards Nigeria. Right, let's just all get into Saragusta to try and back them up as best we can. Which goes for you as well fighting the Aquitanian rebels here. We're going to win a battle, but it's not that important. And Catholics here have a numerical advantage over us, but my troops are going to be coming in. Won't be enough, though. So it's going to be another loss for the Almighty. Oh no, we're winning on one flank. We might be able to get this around. Possibly, no, we've lost. Okay. Well, we'll do the best we can, I think. Uh, they might as well march down to Barcelona. There's more troops coming, so we'll just leave the boats there for now. Lost the Siege of Pesadas, or Bezes, or whatever. Get a few more troops. But 
but um, it's not a very large army that we'll have here which is going to be a problem there aren't really any armies around here we can actually defeat. So yeah, might be time to hire some mercenaries. Probably well past time to hire mercenaries. Uh, the Irish band are very weak. The Scottish band are very weak. The Touring Company? Mm, I kind of don't think we can really afford them. Oh, we'll do. And I left four boats behind. So we have 4,000 soldiers, which isn't awful. But I'm gonna not be able to do all that much with them, to be honest. But at least with these mercenaries, they are going to be growing slowly, and we're actually still making a profit. Well, budget's running at a surplus is probably a better way of putting it. And those rebels are about to be defeated. Six thousand Ulmaids, let's join up with them. Oh no, because they're not six thousand Ulmaids, they're seven thousand Bwaiids. Uh, so there isn't really anybody who's looking particularly vulnerable here. Uh, Tutusha is down here they're marching to. So the Umayyads are amassing somewhere. Might as well send our troops along with them, I think. And we had so much camel cavalry not that long ago, now I've only got 40 of them. Oh, I hope I can attach armies. I think I'd be able to, but I'm not sure if it's you know I'm actually part of the same war here. Oh, so many crusaders. Oh, my wife Shakira is pregnant again. And in total, it looks like we're going to have 6,000 soldiers here when we're all together. I mean, 8,800 crusaders just there. So that's 10,000 plus another 7,000. 17, 21, 25, plus 8,000 Frenchmen. So we're going to be outnumbered quite badly. But, let's see what the Umayyads came in to do with this. Firstly, they're marching much faster than my soldiers, so they're going to get left behind. My half-sister's arrived at my court after her husband was murdered. Let's find you something else to marry. Prince Fadl of Hispania. Okay. And my son likes a guardian. How about myself? This guy can do it. Ah, uh, no, I'll do it. Okay, we're about to match our soldiers into a losing battle. Well, we've just arrived in a losing battle. We're up number two to one before we even arrived. And there we go. We've just lost that one. But we'll send our troops home. So there's no point keeping them up around for that. Okay, 
I'm thinking we might have lost this crusade and the Holy War for Potois, but that doesn't actually matter if we lose the crusade. Books have always fascinated me, and when I heard that a friend of mine is a scholar and a member of a small group of people dedicated to studying books, discussing them and learning more about our world through philosophy and science, I knew where to learn no more. The thing is, I'm curious, so I would like talking to them. And I'm also ambitious, so tell me more about the scholars. We'd like to talk to them about it as opposed to doing any work ourselves. Now, maybe we're proud, so we probably would like to be the best of them. Probably should give that mosque. Ah, oh, no, I can hold on to it for now. It's actually making me a lot of money, so probably best to. But not for another 20 years will I get my full levies and tax from Provence. It's a bit of a shame we're going to lose it here. I oh, know we're not going to keep it, we're going to lose all the wealthy lands. New daughter, Satara. Let's go carousing with somebody. I've got a friend. You, Lupo de Marseille. I can't invite you to carousing. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Uh, the court demands accused you of heresy. I'm sure he's not heretic. Oh, Porto has fallen. And we've just lost the crusade, so a lot of this land's about to go away. I wonder who will win it. Successful crusade for Aquitaine. It was granted Alaise de Chancellada. Okay, victory in the crusade for Aquitaine against Bajar Fadil II of Umayyad Empire. So... She's got a lot of land. I wonder what she was doing originally. I don't see any more Aquitaine anywhere. Okay, well that's odd. But I suppose the thing now is that at least we can... Oh, we lost Carcosni. That was a real shame. Uh, plot to kill some guy? Yeah, whatever. So I'm thinking this might be the point to end the episode. It's been a bit setback for the Umayyads. And well, us in particular, we lost about a third of our lands just then. Wife Parahant is pregnant. But, a bit of an advantage, we now have a fairly weak Catholic kingdom immediately to our north. So, we should be able to launch Holy Wars for Toulouse and Gascony. And because this queen is fairly new, she probably won't have very many allies. Well, she's got none at all, so hopefully not many people would actually come to her aid. But, how's the chance later? That looks like a very Muslim um, house crest there. King Miguel the Liberator. So you're a descendant of the original kings of Aquitaine, who, of course, revolted. And, yeah, they were actually Catholic, and uh, not Catholic, yeah, Sunni, and he was Sunni, you see his children are Sunni, and then you're Christian, okay, thanks for changing sides there, but, well, your family will be isolated, so it should be pretty easy to take some land from you. Hopefully Toulouse, just to relink our Barcelona to Provence. And Gascony and Aquitaine would be good to retake those lands. But that's something for next time, and we've still probably got no soldiers to do it with. 4,000. Let's see how big her army is. Um, two. So yeah, we could beat her in a war just now. But um, as I said, we'll leave it for next time. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all then.